Hi everyone and welcome. During these difficult times, the idea of making a little bit of extra money is very appealing. And one way to do this is to utilise the services of print on demand. Now print on demand, for those who are not familiar with it, are basically websites whereby you can upload designs and artwork. And what they do, they display this on different merchandise products such as mugs and t-shirts and things. And if people like the look of them, they purchase them and then you get a small share of the profits. Now that all sounds well and good. However, like me, you're probably not that brilliant at doing sort of artwork work or coming up with original sort of ideas and you probably push the idea to one side and try to look at something else. However, there is a way around this. Many of us have got cameras with us in the shape of our phones. What you can actually do is upload photographs. And what I do is I look out for different sort of things that I can take a photograph that I think that might look good on a particular sort of product. Now, for example, what you could do is take photographs of different flowers. Maybe you've gone to a show or garden fete or something else like that. And there's a bunch of flowers that look really, really appealing and take a close up shot. Or maybe you've got particular sort of photographs of, of certain animals. Perhaps you've got a dog like a lab or something. And you've got a really, really appealing photograph. Things like that will look really, really good on mugs and on t-shirts and things where you've got other people who are also enthusiastic about the same subject. But whatever you do, what you need to have is a photograph that's got good resolution, it's centered, it's not blurred, and it is your own work. Now, what I wouldn't do is take photographs of scenes where there's different people involved because those people are not going to be very happy that you haven't sought their permission to take their photograph and then try and upload it onto merchandise. So just be a little bit careful there. Equally, as I'm sure you are, there's billions of photographs on the internet of all sort of these sort of subjects and things, but 99% of them will be copyrighted. So again, be very careful. If it's your own original photographs, then hopefully everything will be okay. So what do we need to do to actually turn the photograph into this particular artwork? Well, first thing we need to do is to create the image in a 5,000 by 5,000 pixel image. And the way we do this is we jump onto a site called Canva. Now Canva is a free site, it's an excellent site. With it, you can create designs, you can upload images, you can add text, you can do a multitude of things. And I'm not gonna go into detail on this. If you wanna find out about Canva, there's loads of videos on YouTube. So I'll go ahead and have a look for those. So what you do is simply create your account. Once you've done that, upload your artwork. So as you see there, just coming up on the left-hand side. Move into the area, as you can see there, just center it all up, and once we're happy, we then download it as a PNG file. The reason it's PNG is that's a good quality image. What you don't want to have is have your design on a t-shirt and you find out that it's very pixelated because you've got a poor image. So one thing you do need to do is make sure that your photograph is clear, it's well lit, it's not blurred, and it's centered. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that the image is good enough. So if you have a look at your downloaded image, just zoom in. If the photograph that you've uploaded is not the best quality, then you will get pixelation and that will look poor on such designs as t-shirts and larger design. But as you can see there, we're absolutely fine. So what we need to do now is upload our design to a print on demand web service. One such site is one called Redbubble. I'm not gonna go into details about Redbubble. It's simply again, if you go onto YouTube, just to type in Redbubble, do a search, you'll find plenty of information on there. It's totally free. And once you put all your details in, what you need to do is simply upload your image. So as you can see there, it's just uploading. You just need to fill in the details there, as you can see, just for the title, also there for the tags. Tags are like keywords that help people to find a particular sort of design. So if you like fuchsia, for example, if you put that within the tag word, then people are looking for t-shirts, but maybe for gardeners who like sort of fuchsias, hopefully it will bring your design to the eyes of the people who are actually sort of looking for that particular product. So once we've done that, we now scroll down and now you can see the various items and how they actually look with your image on them. Now, not all items are suitable for certain things. So maybe in this case, I've got my design of the fuchsia there. It doesn't look particularly well on a t-shirt, so I'm not gonna pop those in, but other items it does. So what you need to do then, basically just scroll down and scroll down, go through the various items that you think it'll look good on, and then just make your way down the actual page itself. So once that's completed, we just tick to say, yep, yeah, this is our own design, and upload it. Once you've done that, you can see there how your artwork looks on the various products. And to be honest, I don't think this looks too bad at all. Now, once you've done this, don't expect to get sales straight away because you've got to think about it that millions of people are doing these things. So one of the things you could do, just to sort of get your artwork up the ladder, if it were, 
and um, you still encourage perhaps some friends and family to perhaps buy one or two of these items and once this red double site sees a few sort of items being purchased it then starts to move you up the table and then as people just click onto the website generally your designs then start to get more and more exposure. It's a bit like doing a search on Google. If you put certain keywords in, you'll see the first couple of pages, but perhaps in reality, you've got is maybe page 30 that many people have a look at. So you need to get your designs up that table with the search. And there you have it. Once you've started doing it, I would encourage you to sort of upload as many as you can, because the more designs that you've got, you can increase in the odds of somebody actually sort of purchasing one. And when I say once they do, it then starts the ball rolling. Anyway, there you go. It's just a simple idea that may, just may, I could just add that little bit of extra money that you've been looking for. And if nothing else, it hasn't cost you very much, only just in a bit of time. And it's fun as well. So appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this, then please give me the thumbs up. As always, I'll catch up with you soon.